Hey guys, I'm Mark with the Oval RC and today we're going to do an unwrapping assembling of the GT Body's late model body. This body is going to be used in the Oval RC 12T Money Series in the 12T Crate Lake class. And this is just a body from one of the manufacturers that you can use in that class. But today we're going to pull this out of the wrapper. I'm going to show you guys how to put this together. And then we're going to disassemble it, we're going to paint it up, we'll reassemble it, and then we'll mount it on our slash. So we'll pull everything out of the wrapper, lay everything out. Everything for the most part looks pretty straightforward. We have the main decking right here, and this will be the inside of the late model body with the front facing that way there. We have the side panels, one for each side. We have the nose piece, two small rear wings, a rear spoiler, and a roof. We have a small bag of plastic nuts and bolts and two GT body stickers to put on our new body. We don't have any instructions, but it's pretty straightforward. We'll just start mounting the side pieces to the inner decking. Next, we'll line up the second last hole in the side panel. We'll line that up with the last hole in the decking. Then at this time, you would put all the bolts into the side panel. I'm only gonna put a few in because we are taking this apart so I can paint it. And we'll do the same thing on the left side. And after you put the two sides on, it'll look like this. Next, we'll install the roof. We'll attach that to the two sides with the lip facing up. And you can put the roof on first onto the two sides and then put the decking on, but we already started the car, so we'll do it this way. And we'll install four bolts down through the roof. After I'm done painting the body, I'm definitely gonna attach the roof to the two sides first. And that's what it looks like with the roof on the body so far. Next, we'll attach the rear spoiler, and this will slide underneath the decking. And we'll hold it in place with two bolts. And you guys can see what it looks like with the rear spoiler installed. Next, we'll install the two rear wings, and all we have to do is match up the holes in the side panels and the ones in the spoiler. And you guys can see what it looks like with the rear spoiler installed and the wings attached to it. The last thing you'll have to install is the front nose piece and you'll see it has some ribs in it to help it curve right around the car like that. And we'll start installing the nose piece just by lining up the seven holes on the front with the nose piece, just like that. Now you guys can see what the front nose piece looks like mounted up onto the rest of the body. And we only have a couple bolts holding everything in place, but at this time you can see what everything looks like all together. And now is when you want to mount it on top of the chassis so we can drill our body mounting holes, make sure everything fits down into place before we remove all the protective plastic and paint the body. So I'm pretty much using the stock tracks as slash, and on the back I do have the stock rear body mount. Up front I do have the stock front body mount with the stock cross member. On the very front of the car, I did take off the stock front bumper because I'm using one of these small turn down bumpers. I may use this car as a Mud Boss car also. You can also take off that front bumper, flip it upside down, and it makes a great body brace for these late model bodies. Up on top of the post, I did mark the post with a white marker so you can see it easier when shining through the body and lining everything up. So we got our chassis ready to go. Next, I did rip up some of the body protective material here, pulled that away so that way I could see the body mounts a little bit better when I lined up the body to be mounted on top of the chassis. And then I set the body down over the chassis, looked from behind the car, evened everything up real nice, looked up underneath the car, evened up the front end real nice, looked on both sides and make sure that everything just looked even on the chassis. At the very back of the car, you can line up the center of the wheel well with the center of the wheel and make sure that lines up real nice too. You want to have a nice even body mounted on top of your chassis. And then after you have your body marked, you can use an X-Acto knife like this and just start twisting it right on top of your marks until it starts making a hole big enough to set down over top of the body mounts. And with all four body pins in place, we can see the body fits down on top of the chassis really nice. If we turn the car around and look from the back, you can see that the tires sit pretty evenly inside the body. If I show you the underneath, we can also see that it looks pretty even with the front wheels too. 
You just want to make sure that this body can move around because it's a pretty heavy body and make sure it doesn't rub your tires. And this is what it looks like all mounted up. Now the next thing to do, we're going to take everything apart and we're going to remove all the plastic from underneath because we'll be spray painting the car from the underneath. If you're doing a wrap, it really doesn't matter. Then you can just remove all the protective coating, lay your wrap on and you're done. I'm going to add a little bit of paint to this. That's what we're going to do next. So guys, I just got done painting the body. It took me about two and a half hours, paint the body, put it all back together, mount it up on the car, it's ready to go. I still have to do the wrap on it yet and add the oval RC decals and stuff on it, but this thing looks really good so far. This is the GT Bodies late model body, and this is what we'll be racing in the oval RC 12T Money Series coming up in 2021. So now we can take a close up look at the body, and I'm not really a green fan, but Man, this thing looks good. It should look good with the Oval RC colors on it. I can't wait to get it all done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group. That's the Oval RC. And I have all the updates coming up with the series on there. I'm Mark with the Oval RC. We'll see you next time.